I'm gonna platinum the three games from the Ratchet and Clank trilogy all in this video. Starting with the first ever Ratchet and Clank. What the heck? Why is this inverted? Oh, this is so bad. Whoa, hold on. There's gotta be an option to change this. Up, down, movement. Okay, reversed. Okay, it's a little better, but like, it's obviously still extremely clunky. Okay, well, it came out on PS2, so what else do you expect? I initially played this game back in 2013, so I already had some of the trophies, and that was the case for Ratchet 2 and 3 as well, so this entire video is just a cleanup. But because I don't have my save file, the first step for Ratchet 1 was to complete the story again. I had fun using all the different weapons and gadgets, doing the fighter jet sections, playing as Giant Clank, all this cool stuff. It was a real trip down memory lane. And while I was playing, I made sure to collect as many gold bolts as I could because I would have to clean these up after my playthrough, and it would just reduce the time I have to spend going back and collecting stuff. And eventually I beat the story quite fast it's pretty short yes all right so i beat the game here it says 13 of 40 gold bolts zero of 10 gold weapons and three of 30 skill points i'm gonna have to max out all of these for some trophies so i'm gonna work on this and some other ones right now step two collect all the gold bolts now as i was doing this i had quite a bit of regular bolt at the time so i figured why not purchase a nanotech upgrade for some extra health when i accidentally unlocked a trophy i might as well buy some more nanotech oh I got nano this! Finally! My first trophy in years on this game! Wow, that's amazing. And it took most of the day to collect all the gold bolts, but eventually I got it done. Yep, and here it is. And I think we get the trophy just like this. Let's see it! Bolt Commando! It's a gold trophy! Let's go! And just like that, we're moving on to step three, which is comprised of most of the trophies in this game. The skill points. Okay, well, I'm gonna go for the skill point trophy, which is done for doing random tasks on some of the planets. I can see the ones I've done here, so on this specific place where I'm at, I think I have to shoot down one of these these uh, flying jets around here or whatever these are. Okay, you just earned a skill point. Now in this trophy list, some of the skill points are the exact same things to get some of the trophies. So I was able to get a lot of those done while I was going for that ultimate skill point trophy. But this one right here gave me a little bit of trouble. Okay, this might be one of the most annoying skill points to earn. I'm not sure if there's a trophy because some of these skill points have trophies related to them. This one specifically, I don't know. But this boss fight, I have to beat, it's a queen apparently, I can tell. But I have to beat her with my wrench only so I, I i absolutely hate these enemies and i don't know how i'm supposed to do this because all they do is just lunge at you and i'm probably gonna die but we'll see i can throw the wrench like that but like how am i supposed to avoid that like maybe maybe like that like i'm one shot and i died like oh that's annoying that's gonna be so annoying and they respawn me back here okay i think i got it Yep, you just move to the, get a couple hits in, run over to the side, and repeat. Harder than any Dark Souls boss ever made, thanks. Oh my gosh, now you got all these little frog dudes, like, hold on, let me throw that. And I got hit, nice. Alright, I got three, three health left, two hits in, back up, two hits in, run to the side, I don't know why I said back up. She's low, oh my gosh. And now they're spawning in these. Uh, th these are the exact enemies that I hate. They have so much health. I'm one shot. I'm one shot. Oh. I, I, I actually just killed... Bruh. This is where I died last time. I know they take four of these hits to kill. So that's two on him. Okay. Oh, they're both down. Okay, th this should be... I'm, I'm, like, I'm getting so pumped up. Like <laughs> I'm about to unlock a trophy. But it's just a skill point. But yeah, she's about to go down. Yes, you just earned a skill point. So that one is done. So far, that was the hardest one. I don't know if there's going to be any more that are like that. We'll see. Okay, while these guys are having an all-out war over here, I need to get a skill point and a trophy. So I have this thing called the Morpho Ray. What it does is it turns enemies into chickens. And you can see there's a tank right here. I need to turn this tank into a chicken, which obviously, like, the stronger the enemy, the longer it's going to take to actually turn it into a chicken and it's like spewing out some poison i don't know what that is it looks like poison how am i supposed to do this um i think i can might i might be able to use the decoy glove to distract it and then use the chicken thing okay so i've got the decoy glove equipped let me take a look and see so if i throw that over there it, yeah it pops up a little thing do not see him he's right there it's very realistic come on shoot him yes him not me 
He, it, okay, he doesn't listen. It didn't fall for the decoy strat, which is tough. I have to get close. I have to get really close. Oh, come on! Okay, and they've respawned me all the way back here. I think I vividly m remember me raging as a 13 year old because of how annoying it was to die and then have to run all the way back. Okay, I've realized I'm such an idiot. All I have to do is equip the O2 mask and I'm basically immune to that attack. Like I didn't know I had to check the trophy guide because I was getting destroyed. And now it does absolutely no damage. Okay, well, hey man, as long as we got the trophy in the end, right? Okay, well, why is it not turning into a tank? I mean, into a chicken. There we go. All right, we should see the trophy pop and we got the skill point. Cluck, cluck, finally. Now here in Ratchet 1, there are also hoverboard races, which are actually quite hard to win, but there's two trophies I was gonna get here. One for doing a trick in midair called a Twisty McMarks, which took me a few attempts, but I was able to get it without too much trouble. Tr Twisty McMarks, yes, yes. Twisted hoverboard, let's go. And the second was for beating the race in under a minute and 35 seconds. Now this one was a little bit more troubling. I went through the entire race as fast as possible and I was still too slow. Bro, how are you supposed to do this in under 135? Oh my gosh. And this time I had a better attempt until this happened. What? Now notice my time is on the bottom. This is the last lap and I'm like around 10 seconds away from doing it. And this is towards the end of the race. Come on, come on, come on. I failed by basically two seconds because of that one little crash. Oh my gosh. Surely I have to get it this time, right? Hoping I don't make some silly mistake again. Yeah, I didn't crash there again, stupid. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Seven. Come on! By 0.58 seconds! Oh, come on! I didn't crash at all during that attempt, but I still wasn't good enough. So here we are trying again. Wait, wait, 32, 33, 34, yes, yes, 3463. Oh my gosh, we got the speedy trophy. <laughs> From there, I continued getting the other skill points and the trophies tied to them. Most of them are super easy, so they didn't give me that much trouble. And now here's the last skill point needed for the trophy. So here is the last section. This is actually what I need to do for the trophy. So swing through here, swing through here, swing up there, swing up here, or not swing, but grapple, I guess. And then swing from this one and it should be it. Yeah, you just earned a skill point. That was easy. And we're gonna get the trophy now. Skillful, let's go. That was a grind, but not as bad as a gold bolt one. Moving on to step four, one million bolts. I needed these bolts for the rest of the trophies, but the main one I was going for was the 1 million bolt trophy. There's a glitch for it where you can just get infinite bolts. And if I don't do this glitch, then I'll have to play through the game five or six times. And I think it's like a 15 hour total grind of me just playing the game over and over, which no one wants to do. I gotta show you this setup because I actually had to really innovate in order to get this to work. And that's because the game closes after 15 minutes of being idle, even if you have the button pressed down. So it wasn't as just simple as just tape the button down and leave. So what I have have here is my PlayStation Move controller from the PSVR. The wristband that goes around your wrist from the Move controller, I have it wrapped around the controller with a dime underneath it because if that dime is not there, I wouldn't press the button down. And that's what's collecting the bolts for me. And you can see the analog stick is like pulled. That's a, a headphone wire that I actually just broke those headphones today. And I have a bottle of hydrogen peroxide pinching it down so it can continuously pull on the thing. Cause I don't have a rubber band. So I had, this is what I had to do. People were saying it would take about 12 hours to do. So I just went to sleep for the night and woke up the next morning. The trophy ended up popping while I was sleeping. So I don't have the clip of it actually showing up, but you can see it right here. Breakfast has been consumed. I took a nice shower and I'm here to get ready to unlock another trophy. So this guy is selling the Rhino for 150,000 bolts. I have a million. This is like pocket change to me at this point. And I'll get a trophy for unlocking this thing. This is like the best weapon in the game. Unfortunately, I won't have much chances to use it because I'm about to get the platinum soon, but it's whatever. Let's see the trophy. Gadgeteer. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not the... Oh, I'm going to get two trophies. And ultimate... Wait, am I getting three? Oh, no, no, it's just two, it's just two. So Gadgeteer was for like unlocking all the gadgets and weapons. This was the last one I needed. And then the second trophy was just for unlocking this specific weapon. I'm gonna just show off what it can do against these guys right here. Just, you know, just for fun. Just, you know, testing experimental purposes. Yeah, basically it just shoots like all these missiles and it's uh pretty cracked. Here is where I'll get the last trophy. This is this room full of 
these weapons encased into these whatever these things are buy the gold suck cannon for 10,000 bolts and four gold bolts so because I have all the gold bolts and I have literally 850,000 I can buy all these weapons and once I do I'll get the platinum they're actually really good but unfortunately I couldn't use them because I'm about to get the platinum and move on to the next game there's still two more games to platinum after this one so a ton of more trophies to go through Ratchet King Midas and Gadget Master, let's go! That is done. Moving on to Ratchet and Clank 2, going commando. Step one of this game was playing through the story and watching out for missable trophies. Now, what I like about this game over Ratchet 1 is that you can strafe. And the first one, you couldn't strafe, and it made it really hard at times with the combat. Well, not really hard, but just kind of like inconvenient and annoying. Graphically, the games look just about the same. I think they were released a year apart from each other. Now, because there's so many missable trophies in this game, my plan is to go on each planet and look at the trophies I need to get on that one. Here's a trophy on one of the early game planets. So now the first missable trophy I'm gonna get is for shooting down pterodactyls on this planet. So I have to buy this gun called the Chopper. It's 5,000, I have literally 5,021. All right, now I'm a broke boy, but I did get the weapon I need. So where are the pterodactyls at? I think they're flying around here. You see them? How many do we need to shoot down? One, two, three, four. I'm just gonna hit them as they come close. Okay, I missed. Like, do I have to lead this? I'm gonna run out of ammo. Okay, I got one. That, do you tell me that missed? Like, what? I'm not gonna be able to get this. Okay, that's two. I have 18 shots, and there's two more pterodactyls. There's no way I miss. That's three. Four. And I got a skill point for that, too. We should get the trophy. Prehistoric Rampage. I do have to get skill points in this game, just like I did with the previous one, so we'll be working on those. This planet had another missable trophy in the form of breaking all the breakable objects inside this store, so I just went through with my gun and shot them all until I was done. Okay, that should give me the trophy. More vandalism. Here in Ratchet 2, there's also this thing called the arena where you can take on combat challenges. And there are some trophies tied to these. Okay, there's a trophy for beating this guy right here with only my wrench. I'm trying to do it early on in the game, so it's gonna be a little bit harder. I could try to do it later if this proves to be too difficult. So we're gonna see. I'm probably gonna die though. Oh yeah, he's, he, he just hit me twice. He's not even on the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm definitely going to die. Yeah, I'm, I'm one shot. <laughs> All right, well, this went poorly. We should wait till later in the game. Yep, GG. So instead, I tried taking on this arena boss and beating him without taking any damage for a different trophy. And I already took damage. All right, cool. So I restarted the fight to try again. I'm, I'm getting this trophy, okay? I'm getting it. How do you avoid that? It seems I needed to upgrade my weapons and become stronger before I can get these trophies. So I'll be back to get them later. I moved on to the next planet where there was a trophy for destroying 10 robots using the cranes. I had already destroyed some earlier, so I was really close to getting it here. All right, we're on this, the second crane. So if I can pick up this robot right here, I think I can pick, pick him up. Yep, there it goes. Now we can move it over into this room and use the laser to kill the other robots. So, should be seven, eight, nine, ten. You got a skill point, and we're gonna get the trophy. Operate heavy machinery. Then I found myself in another race, just like the hoverboard ones in Ratchet 1, but instead, this time I need to win in under two minutes and ten seconds. I'm not really concerned about first place, though. What I want is to finish under 210. Bro, I keep missing that speed pad. Like, I'm not gonna be able to get it without that speed pad. Bruh! I... I died to that... That creature thing. Oh my gosh, that's definitely gonna ruin me. I got 219. I have to cut 9 seconds. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know what to fix this time. If I just hit those speed pads and I don't crash into that creature thing, I should get the 210. But you never know. Oh my gosh, I missed the speed pad. I think we can get it this time. Unfortunately, it doesn't say my time anywhere on the screen. So I have no idea how I'm doing. Well, we're about to find out right now. I failed by one second. If, oh, I missed the speed pad on my first lap. So I need to hit the speed pad every lap. If I didn't, if I just hit it on my first lap, bruh, this could be the one. Oh, I missed it. I, I might still be able to get it done. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here's the end, here's the end. Here's the end, please, please. I got 208! 
Speed Demon accomplished, yes. As I played, I focused on upgrading as many of the weapons as possible because there's a trophy for upgrading all of them to the max. Let's go. But I also needed stronger weapons to take on that boss that I lost to earlier where I had to beat him no damage. And then I came across a much needed wrench upgrade. Your wrench has been upgraded. Maybe it's time to go try to beat that boss with the wrench only earlier for that trophy now that I got an upgraded wrench. All right, Chain Blade, time for you to go down, buddy. I have more health too. Oh yeah, my my, my wrench is doing more damage. And he only does one damage per hit. I, I should be able to get this. Maybe I could just tank him. I might be able to just tank it. Yeah, I'll be able to tank it. Yes! Wrench only kill. Okay, so we've conquered him. There goes the trophy, Wrench Ninja Blade to Blade. Now, while I was here in the arena, I figured why not give the B2 Brawler another shot trying to beat him no damage. I have some more upgraded guns this time, but this was probably a mistake. I think it was still too soon. <laughs> oh, I was about to do it. Oh, come on. Oh, I keep bro it's every time he's one shot I take I get hit by one of those pink shots <laughs> it's, bro I think it's automatically designed that you it's impossible to avoid damage once he's one shot that has to be it bro because every single time he's one shot bro oh my gosh yeah, it was definitely too soon. I should have upgraded more weapons before trying this. And those are not even all the times I died when he was one shot. It happened so many more times than what you're seeing here. The frustration was just too much for me, but I had to keep trying because I knew I can get it done. I didn't get hit. Hold on, this might be it. Switch to the stupid sniper, bruh. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh! To be hit or not to be hit. Why was that so hard, man? Now back to the trophies for each specific planet. Here's one for killing 12 birds on planet Joba. Four birds right here. How did that just miss? No, 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 you're not flying off. Absolutely not. He flew off. Okay, where's that one that just flew off? Oh, 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 I see, in the distance. Right here. Yes! I got the skill point. Bye bye, birdies. I moved on to a trophy that required me to shoot down 14 ships on this planet. I'm hitting these shots like I'm Steph Curry. 13, we need one more. Where, where are the ships at? I need one more. Oh, all of a sudden, there want to be no more ships when I'm one away from the trophy, right? There's one in the distance. Watch this, watch this. Oh, and he just appeared. Ah! Why are you moving so fast? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Game winner right here, game seven. Got him! Moving violation. Earlier in the game as part of the story, I spoke to this weird dude who apparently needed crystals to repair the ship. Oh. This dude is weird. Well, once you give him the crystals, the ship is repaired, but there's a trophy for getting 90 more crystals. So you have to go through this desert killing enemies and basically breaking crystals so you can get them. And it takes a while, it's kind of grindy. I got 90 skill point. Do I get the trophy? Heal your key. Oh, I didn't even know that was a trophy. And then I had to do the same thing, but on a different planet with harder enemies. It was quite annoying to have to do this again, but I took it as an opportunity to level up some of my weapons. Finally, man, Jesus, after all that time. Be a moon child. The good thing was not only did I get the trophy, but I can trade the crystals into the guy for a lot of bolts. I think it was like 250,000, and this was enough to put me over the cumulative 1 million bolts I needed for another trophy. I got bolted down. Now we're nearing the end of the story here, but there's not really any more story trophies for me to get because I'd already got most of them in my first playthrough back in 2013. So before we actually finish the story, we're gonna move on to step two, all platinum bolts and skill points. I collected as many platinum bolts as I could during my playthrough to try to reduce time cleaning up afterwards, but there were still some that I just didn't know where they were and had to look up a guide. There's the last platinum bolt right there. I just gotta move this thing out the way and then we can jump up here. Now we have to go along this rail and the vault will be at the end. Crap, it's okay. We got the vault. 
Platinum power, yes. Up until this point throughout my playthrough, I had been going for a lot of the skill points that were tied to the trophies I've been getting. Well, it's time to finish those skill points off, or at least most of them. There weren't too many left and they were quite easy. There's also a skill point and a trophy for upgrading your ship to the maximum. You can do this with something called rare titanium, which is like a separate sort of currency you can get. To farm it, I just replayed the same ship mission. It never ends as long as you don't finish the objective. And you get rare titanium from the enemies you destroy. All right, here we go. Hyperspace warp system purchase. Nice ride, let's go. From there, I started going for the skill point where you maximize your health, and that's a trophy as well. To do this, you can collect these nanotech upgrades. They add a section onto your health, but you also can just increase your health by defeating enemies and leveling up. But by collecting these parts, I can reduce the time it takes. So I went through the world trying to collect them all until I came across this one that was extremely hard to get. It's here floating in the air, so you have to use the glider to get it. You fly through the course at first, but then once you reach this point, you have to make this U-turn and go the opposite way. Then you go back from where you came, and this is where the struggle began. I can't see! Bro, oh my gosh, man. And each time you crash, you get spawned right back at the beginning, so you have to go through the course again. And for some reason, I could not get past this one part. Crap, man! I can't... It's like, I can't see in there. Like, bro, oh my gosh. Like, bruh, who, whose idea was it to put a nano part right there? Whose idea was that, man? Like, why? Is he fired? I hope he is. Uh, 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 uh. Go down, go down! Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we got control. Uh, 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 uh. For, uh, first time I made it this far. Up, up, go up, go up, go up. Oh, I fumbled on an easy part that was right at the end. Oh, I made it through. I made it through. Okay, I'm getting it this time. I'm getting it this time. Don't fumble. Here it is. 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 Go, 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 go. It's right there. Yes. Oh. Oh, man. With no more nanotech parts left, I had to get the rest of my health upgrades through combat. So I went to the second arena to complete a challenge where you have to defeat like 60 waves of enemies. So not only was I getting experience to upgrade my health, but there's also a trophy for beating this challenge. All right, we pretty much have only our top row of health left, which is kind of concerning, but we're on round 59, so I think I'll be okay. Yeah, we have to fight the, uh, the boss now. Yeah, one of these shots just takes off a whole tail of his in one shot. There should be a GG. Yep, that's GG. We got it done. That's impossible. And they gave me 200,000 bolts for that. Let's go. At this point, most of the trophies I need are just related to having a lot of bolts, which I need to go in challenge mode in order to do. So first I'm gonna take out the final boss and then it'll ask me to go into challenge mode, which gives me more bolts upon playing. So it's like new game plus pretty much. With most of my guns being fully upgraded, the boss fight was really easy. Easy boss down so i started up the challenge mode playthrough in this mode you get a bolt multiplier depending on how long you can go without getting hit so your bolts can rack up really quickly and remember i still need that health upgrade trophy so i was working on that at the same time and also the arena challenges pay out a lot so when i went back to the arena i did this challenge that was going to give me a lot of bolts when this happened oh i got i got bolts to trade let's go and that was for collecting two million cumulative bolts but i was still just shy of having one million in order for me to purchase the rhino which would give me another trophy playing through this planet got me the bolts i needed and i was able to make the purchase okay so i've been playing through the game i just reached one million bolts so i can either buy the rhino too or i can buy armor no matter what i do i'll get a trophy so i'll just buy the rhino too and get the trophy for that now it's time. And that turned out to be the better purchase because with this, it made the rest of the playthrough like a cakewalk. I basically would never take damage, which meant my multiplier would stay high and I'd get more bolts even faster. Enough to allow me to purchase the armor I needed for a trophy. I'm at 1.1 million right now, and here's the armor vendor. I can buy the most expensive armor in the game. This is not how it looks. That's actually just a suit for a cheat code that I used. Purchase, and I'll get a trophy for this. Yay, carbon. I'm gonna turn off the cheat that 
makes him wear a tuxedo just so you can see what it looks like boom that's fire i went back to this challenge arena to complete the one from earlier with the 60 rounds and i was rewarded handsomely with bolts with that i can buy the zodiac which i also need for a trophy this is gonna unlock the trophy called bfg so we're gonna buy this i don't even know what this gun does i'm excited to try it out we got bfg i still have 1.3 million left over oh i got a skill point too yes i got destruction time yes Purchasing that last weapon was enough to unlock that trophy because that was the one for upgrading and unlocking every weapon. But then I wanted to try it out, so this is what it looked like. Is it worth 1.5 million? Maybe not, but I needed it for the trophy. If you look at my health, I'm missing one tiny little piece. That is what we need to fill for the plat, and there's one nano piece I can pick up in order to do that. So all I have to do is hit this thing right here. Right? Boom. Hit this one. Boom. And it's going to be right across this bridge. I just pick it up and I'll get the last skill point and I'll also get the nano uh, trophy as well. So I get two trophies and the platinum right here. Here we go. Let's see it, baby. Ratchet 2 platinum and then we're going to move on to Ratchet 3. Nano to the max. Super skilled. And he went commando. Yes! We got to move on into Ratchet 3 now. Well, this is Ratchet 3. Um, I apparently have 50% of the trophies on this game already, which is kind of nuts as a 13-year-old. I, I don't think I was trophy hunting on this game back then, but we're going to play through and get whatever we need to do. Step one, play through the story again. From my memory, I think Ratchet 3 was my favorite out of the trilogy. It was just the most polished game, in my opinion, out of the three, because obviously it was the third one. They had more experience. But because I already had like half of the trophies on the game, my main concern while playing through the story was to collect all the titanium bolts. Again, this would reduce the amount of cleanup I'll have to do after the story is done. It didn't take me too long to beat the final boss. And after that, I went up to clean up the rest of the titanium bolts that I missed. And this was the beginning of step two. All titanium bolts and skill points. This should be the last bolt, I think. Come on. That's gonna unlock Thorough. Now for some skill points, I had to play through these Quark comics. You can actually skip these in the game if you don't feel like playing them, but they're basically these 2D platforming little mini games where you play as Captain Quark and you punch a whole bunch of enemies. They give you some weapons to use sometimes. You collect tokens. And I had to speed run the levels in order to get some skill points. But before that, I had to also 100% every level by getting all the tokens on each one. And this was for a trophy. It wasn't too hard, but some tokens would be in a little bit of a hidden spot, so you'd have to go out of your way to get them. Other than that, I got it pretty easy. Easily. Strive for arcade perfection. After speed running every episode of the Quark comics, I went on to get another trophy where I have to collect all these sewer crystals, 101 total, similar to the previous games where I had to collect those other crystals. It was quite the grind, but it wasn't hard, especially with this map that shows me all the locations. And we get the trophy, hit the mother load. I continued unlocking the other skill point trophies, which were really easy, very similar to how the skill points were in the previous games. But I had to wait to unlock the last one because I need bolts for it, and we'll get that later. For now, I have to find the Ratchet trophy and the Secret Agent Clank trophy. The first was here in the first planet. Here's the Ratchet trophy right here, baby. Mini Ratchet, let's go. Ah, here it is. Secret Agent Clank. Okay, I have three trophies left. I now have to go into challenge mode in order to get the rest. So we're going to start that up because we need 10 million bolts. We need 1 million bolts for that one last skill point where I have to unlock that armor. And I also need to upgrade my weapons, all of them. So we're going to work on that as well. And just like in Ratchet 2, here in Ratchet 3, challenge mode gives you a bolt multiplier the longer you go without taking damage. So it's really good for racking up a ton of bolts and making those big purchases that I'll need for the platinum. So I just grinded through the game, upgrading my weapons and collecting bolts until I was finally able to purchase the armor needed to unlock the last skill point. All right, well, I now finally have enough bolts to purchase the Inferno armor. This will give me the last skill point that I needed from earlier. So I'll have 30,000 left over after the purchase. It's okay, we're in challenge mode. We can afford to go broke. We'll make it back quickly and look at the armor. It's super, super cool. We get skill master. I pretty much speed ran the rest of the game to get to the end levels because those give the most XP for the weapons. Throughout the second playthrough, I was just upgrading all my other weapons. You have to buy these other versions called Omega ones, which level up past version five. There's also a 3 million bolt gun called the Rhino, which is just like the previous versions in the other games, but this one's better. And eventually I was able to purchase the Rhino. Let's go, we got it. I'm broke, but I got it. I just gotta upgrade this fully and I'll get a trophy afterwards. And then we need the 10 million bolts. 
and the platinum is done. To upgrade the Rhino, I basically replayed like the same three planets that give a lot of XP per kill, while simultaneously working towards that 10 million bolts. If I keep my multiplier at max without taking damage, I can get there pretty quickly. And because the Rhino is so OP, I was able to keep this multiplier up as long as possible, and also fully upgraded, which I needed to do. V5, baby. With the fully upgraded Rhino, I absolutely obliterated everything in sight and got my 10 million bolts. They never stop coming. Let's go. One more trophy for the platinum. And all I have to do is upgrade this one weapon. And then we will be done with the Ratchet and Clank trilogy, man. It's going to be so amazing to be able to say that. We need to take, take out enemies with this. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to upgrade this weapon. Hopefully not too long. It shouldn't take too long because this is later game level. So you get more XP per kill. And so I just continued running this route because it was giving me good XP. About to be level 7. And then once it hits level 8, I can... Um, I get the platinum so there it is level seven and i get some ammo back which is great and so i went to the last planet to get to the last level of the gun we're so close we're literally so close we should get it before the end of this this uh planet right here right on these last kills there it is there it is there it is omega arsenal omega man hero of the galaxy we platinum the entire ratchet and clank trilogy let's go that is great that was a great experience man those games were so nostalgic and fun to play and if you didn't know i also platinumed every ps3 spider-man game in one video you can press here on the screen to watch